what's going on everybody it is wild willy and today the motion predator decoy was just released so i figured we are going to go ahead and head out to white heart island and give it a shot on the coyotes um so with this new decoy it attracts the coyote red fox arctic fox within a 50 meter radius so this will definitely be a big advantage uh for pop-up blind hunting and everything else you still do need the jackrabbit collar to make the perfect setup though you cannot stack these in multiple spots for higher attraction rate i don't blame them for not wanting to be able to stack this decoy as you guys will be able to see in this hunt because just one of these does the job so let's go ahead and head down this hill right here and get set up in our tree stand and See if we can't get a few coyotes to come right in, right on in for us. So we'll see you guys in the tree stand. All right, so we just got to our first field. We're going to go ahead and set up and try to call in some coyotes here. So we're going to go ahead and probably place this about 20 meters away from the stand and maybe use the bow on it if we get a single one that comes in. So let's go ahead and, oh, you can rotate it just like this with mouse two. So let's go ahead and, I'm not sure what way to face it, but... We'll go ahead and set it up just like that. So you put it in the, put the stick into the slot right there, and you turn it on, and it starts to spin. And go ahead and give out a buck grunt because we heard one grunting earlier. And go ahead and get up in the tree stand and see if we can't call in a coyote. All right, that didn't take long at all. You already can see we got a few coyotes coming this way. Literally just got set up and called with the call and. Let's go ahead and see if they come right on in to the decoy. Looks like we got a few decent males that are coming in right here. So they're definitely locked in on that motion sensor decoy right there and they're slowly making their way towards it right now. Oh, there's another one that's sneaking up behind those two. Oh, look, there's a buck. There's the buck that grunted. Eh, nice little 115 buck right there, but we're here for the coyotes, so go ahead and let these coyotes get on the decoy here. Oh, there's another one. Looks like we got four coming up on the decoy now. So definitely want to take out that one. That one looks like the biggest male out of all of them. So we're going to go ahead and use our 223 and see if we can get one or two. Oh, that one's down. Oh, we got two on that one. Let's see if we can get a third one. No, oh, was that a hit? No, it looked like we hit just high of it. But we got two down, so let's go ahead and jump down and see what they score. All right, so here's the first one that we shot. Uh, male, and he scored 41.5, so nice size male here, right next to the motion sensor. So let's go ahead and pick up the second one. We got a right lung and a score of 44.4, a nice size one. So we'll go ahead and pick this up and... See if we can't cut off those coyotes and get a few more. All right, so we got set up in our next blind over here. And we just put out the motion sensor decoy. And you can see it down there spinning roughly about 19 meters away or so. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can't call in a couple more coyotes. All right, that didn't take too long. It looks like we got another four coyotes slowly making their way in out to this decoy. And you kind of just slowly walk out to it and stop within five meters of the decoy so we'll go ahead and see if we can't get a few on the decoy before we go ahead and take a shot with the 223 semi-auto rifle looks like we got maybe two good males in the group right here and two females so this uh, motion sensor decoy is definitely a really well way to hunt predators on this game definitely gonna be fun to do some spot and stalk with it and kind of set up for the perfect setup to take them out with close range shotgun or whatnot even bow hunting for them so let's go ahead and get the 223 out and start taking some out maybe we'll get two. Oh, that one's down right away oh it looked like we missed oh hit that one looked like we hit them in like the back hind leg and oh man they're fast out of there this time so let's go ahead and jump down and grab the one that we got for sure and see if we got good blood for the second one got to reload though all right, so here's the one male that we shot off the decoy here. So let's go ahead and pick him up. We got him in the right lung and a score of 45.5. Smaller size coyote, but we'll go ahead and get a cool trophy shot with him. 
uh, in front of the motion sensor decoy. All right, that's a pretty cool trophy shot right there. So let's go ahead and head back to our first stand set up and see if we can't call in a few more and get one with the winter camo pulsar. All right, so we got reset back up at our first stand location and the amount of coyotes over on this stand is absolutely crazy. And we got the motion sensor decoy out there spinning away down there and trying to attract some nice sized coyotes so we can go ahead and maybe get one with the winter camo pulsar here and let's go ahead and keep calling and see if anything comes in. All right, and as soon as we speak, it looks like we got a pretty decent sized male coming flying into this motion sensor decoy. I don't think he's spotted it yet. See, now they kind of stopped running right there. So he must have get to the certain 50 meters attraction and go ahead and slowly walk in. But we're going to go ahead and load up some tracers because that one's a pretty nice scoring coyote right there. So let's go ahead and wait for them to get on the motion sensor decoy. And it looks like we got four. Yep, looks like we got four coming on there. There's three on it right now. And we got a straggler, but let's go ahead and take out this nice male right here. Oh, perfect shot. We just dropped him right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can, can't get another one. Oh, man. We got two down on that one. One with the winter camo pulsar and the other with the semi-auto 223. So let's go ahead and jump down and pick up the one that we shot the 223 first. All right, so we're coming up on the one we shot the 223 on the run. Uh, and ends up scoring 38.2 so let's go ahead and pick up that nice size male that we shot right on the motion sensor decoy all right so we're coming up to this nice size male and he's only about five meters away from this motion spinner decoy and it's working out pretty well so far so we ended up double lung shot of 49.5 great size coyote so let's go and get a trophy shot with him all right so that's a good trophy shot right there but that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this first look at the new motion sensor decoy. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We will be bringing you guys more gameplay on this motion sensor decoy. So until next time, happy hunting. We'll see you guys out there.